Hey everybody, this is Jorik. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching the videos, making comments on everything to do with living in Portugal. Uh, I wanted to talk today about something that doesn't come up often, but I figured I haven't seen a video online on YouTube about it, so I thought it might be interesting uh, just to talk about. There is a train strike uh, that took place here in Lisbon uh, and different parts of Portugal should say, affecting the trains in Portugal. Uh, we were going to go to the Algarve uh, for a vacation. Got up, checked the train schedule, said the train was running, uh, went through our day. Um, I did not check the local news, I should have, but we got to the train station. We had about a half hour before our train was about to depart. The train schedule showed that it was going to be at a certain track. We got the track four, it happened to be. All of a sudden, no trains. And then there was these announcements, they were in Portuguese and in English, saying due to a train strike, uh, there are severe delays in um, movement. So we were thinking, all right, maybe it'll be an hour or two late, we'll just relax. About a half hour later, there had only been one train that had run through the station to stop, get people, and move on. So then we were thinking, maybe there's not going to be a train at all for us. So we went down to the ticket counter, and that was the case. They said uh, they're not running any trains uh, outside of Greater Lisbon, so going to the north, going to the south. Really, anything out of Lisbon was not running. In fact, most of the trains within Lisbon were running um, maybe every third or fourth train uh, that was supposed to go someplace was actually running. It uh, was a, a pretty uh, interesting situation. And the strike here, I, I can't speak for other instances, uh, looks like there's been a history of striking uh, in June uh, and around uh, the time frame of some of the holidays in the first part of June. So it impacts local Portuguese and this year, because of the pandemic and not many people here yet for travel, there are some UK people that have come down, but Portugal still uh, hasn't received a lot of uh, tourists yet. This has really impacted locals and it impacted us as far as travel. We weren't going to pass up on our mini vacation to the Algarve, so uh, we had to look for options. Um, but along the way, um, we found out that strikes here are fairly common and the best way to describe them is they're very much like a wildcat strike in the U.S. And, and what I mean by that is that um, there's not a lot of lead up and notice. It may, a notification may go out the day before, the night before, the day of, or no notification before there's a strike. In the U.S., oftentimes you hear months and months of media coverage about potential issues and then something happens or something gets settled. Here it's a little more rapid, uh, so you have to be on your toes. So we ended up taking a trip uh, using the bus, which is going to be my uh, next video. Uh, but I wanted to let you know that strikes, uh, transportation strikes, service strikes uh, do happen. Uh, in our time here, we had a... Uh, a strike that didn't impact us. It was a municipality to the south that had some service worker strikes, so garbage did not get picked up uh, for a week, and then it was settled. So we're curious. Uh, I'm making the video while the strike is still going, but I'm curious to see how this thing uh, resolves itself. That will probably be a, a video for later down the road. But just wanted to give you a heads up that if you're here and you don't have a vehicle, which we do not, you choose other things for travel, you might be impacted by a strike, so just uh, pay attention to your news. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.